schools ultimately centered on the kids themselves. And the mission is very simple. It's to give kids from underserved populations the opportunity to better themselves, to better their families by giving them the education and the work skill courses that they need to be successful in life and to get themselves out of the situation of poverty that many of them find themselves in every day. And so, you know, for many of our kids, it's the chance of a lifetime. Being at Don Bosco has really helped me to realize what I really want to be and I'm really interested in becoming a teacher because you know, back in middle school I didn't have great teachers so I didn't like going to school. But now that I have good teachers that make class actually fun, I want to be able to stand up there and help students and help them to get the best education that they can get. When I was a child I went to Don Bosco in the Dominican Republic. I never thought over here I would find a Don Bosco school. To me and my wife, Having our kids going to Don Bosco Cristo Rey meant a lot. I started at Don Bosco Cristo Rey in ninth grade. I understood that Don Bosco had an academic program that would prepare me for college, but also included a corporate work-study program that would pay for half of my high school tuition. Working at Georgetown my freshman and sophomore year, I never thought I would end up graduating from college and then returning to Georgetown. The idea of going from a 14-year-old student worker to now a 25-year-old working in a professional setting in the same place I started years ago is definitely full circle. My favorite thing about attending Don Bosco Chris Ray is the sense of community. There I've made friends with a lot of people from different paths in life that I really didn't think I would ever meet. When you walk into the building, you know that everybody else has a purpose and they all work to empower each other and they all work to make sure that everybody else is doing great academically, emotionally, and everybody's more of a family there. I applied to DBCR in April of 2011 and in March of 2011 I lost my mother. So that was the big reeling loss that like caused me to figure out where exactly am I going in life. I was just leaving middle school but that's when my aunt and my dad like stepped in and that's when we found DBCR. And then uh, once I graduated, the spring of my freshman year, that's when I lost my dad. Having my work paid for part of my education was really motivating for me because I'm putting in just as much work as like my dad is helping to pay for this. So it's just like I need to have as much pride in my school as he does because he loved the school. It was just like not only am I able to get this education, I'm also getting four years of work experience. For our DBCR donors, I would honestly like to say thank you because they've given so much to our school and when they give, we're able to show them what we can do. My experience at DBCR really put me on this path to Georgetown and beyond. And without that type of support, there will be people like me who wouldn't be able to have these opportunities. As we get ready to launch this campaign, as we look for the possibility of making it possible for 200 kids to get scholarships every year, we're asking you to consider helping out. If you want to be part of the story and the magic and the mission of Don Bosco Crystal Ray, now's the opportunity to do so. We'd love to share with you the family that we are today.